Hi there and welcome back to Valley Por Vida. Well, the team at CCEI in Brownsville is dedicated to students' career success in the Valley. They're excited to announce a new collaboration with AMG Media Group through a visual effects and education subsidiary called The Division. Now, this is all led by an award-winning digital creator who's worked on some of your favorite feature films and uh, participants will have the opportunity to learn from some of the best filmmaking, tech, and visual effect programs from uh, these unique courses that he'll be teaching. So we went ahead and dropped by their location in Brownsville to speak with him to learn more. Check it out. Uh, my name is Hashim Al Shire, and uh, I'm a visual effects director. Uh, I um, also teach visual effects and I teach uh, other stuff which is related to visual effects like virtual engineering, uh, like uh, uh, virtual fashion design, uh, things which all are related to visual effects. So uh, basically I met uh, the guys here uh, through the Film Society of Brownsville, uh, really amazing uh, guys and they are trying to build uh, uh, a film society here which can you know, host and receive uh, chances to work on movies uh, and uh, like many things happening here in Brownsville and coming to Brownsville, I find that um, uh, uh, many things can happen here to students, as example uh, we can provide the, the kind of knowledge or uh, science we are doing in our daily work and visual effects for films to students and they can really fast learn how to do it on a small scale than bigger scale. Maybe prepare a generation which can directly work you know, better than just uh, the regular uh, kind of careers, you know, new kind of careers. Right, so visual effects is a, a, a group of tools and I would say it's now involved in everything, in science fields, medical fields, uh, even, uh, you know, um, uh, even in schools. So, so the idea is it's uh, mathematics with physics with the graphics mixed together to match and to mimic the reality. And because there are a huge amount of application for this uh, kind of science or this kind of uh, um, let's say tools, um, I, uh, I know for sure that every student is going to find his way or his passion just by learning what is visual effects at the beginning, then they can really use it, as, as we mentioned, in fashion design, in films, in commercials, in, in medical fields, in everything, even in, in, in space. So, uh, so, you know, our mission is just to introduce this to students and find their passion. The usual way of doing things is to draw something or you know paint something or sculpt something. Now we do everything in computer. So you basically use this powerful machine, which is the computer, to create all these things. And uh, the, the the amount of um, uh, let's say the, the, how we expand uh, the the tools as much as we expand the imagination or the the creativity or allow people who have some ideas which they couldn't do just you know by using the regular tools to do it in com using uh, this set of tools so yeah absolutely it's increased the I wouldn't say increase the creativity but it opened the borders for someone to create something new As uh, my colleague uh, said, he, he donated some of these devices. Now we have five devices. We are expecting to have more 10 devices and that will be more than enough for students to start learning. And in the long term, we are targeting uh, like online. You know, like they, they can start something here, but in, in general, they will have the, the opportunity to work it wherever they are.
we have two programs. The first one, uh, you know, uh, with uh, Dr. Rita, we, we agreed to do something related to uh, how uh, some boutiques here to learn how to develop their pipeline in creating the fashion design. This problem about the fashion design, uh, or this, this solution, I would say, uh, came after the COVID because people wouldn't be, uh, couldn't be able to sell their products and to uh, you know, establish whatever they want. Now, shifting everything into virtual and showing all the fashion design into uh, you know, uh, like mobiles or computers needs certain kind of tools to create this, and this is the first course we're gonna provide. Uh, the second course will be introduction to visual effects, and its name is Visual Effects for Directors. It's actually targeting anyone who wanna learn about visual effects introduction so they know exactly uh, you know where and what to, uh, they want to learn in the next stage Again, the division is in collaboration with the Brownsville Film Society and CCEI will host this new program for all aspiring directors and producers in Brownsville. Stay up to date with course announcements and workshop information by visiting myccei.org. All right, well, it's time now to dive into the world of music and introduce you to a local music enthusiast who's taking her passion for the arts to a whole new level. She's got some words of wisdom for the Rio Grande Valley, and we dropped by to check out the scene. Take a look at today's Music Spotlight segment. What first inspired me to write my first song? Well, I've always written songs, but the very first time I actually like started doing a song was one time that my mom brought over a friend and he he saw that I did music so he told me well let's let's try to make a song together and he said and I said well how, how do we do it so he sent me a beat and then in like less than an hour I just sent him some lyrics he liked it and he was like let's, let's record it so we did and that was actually my first song that I did like two three years ago so my advice to whoever is starting out in music, just like myself, I'm still learning, I'm still uh, researching. Uh, I would advise you to do your research, to surround yourself with people who are more knowledgeable than you, who are going to guide you in the direction. Uh, you can't do things like on your own. You can, but it always takes you know that extra. You need a team, a good team behind you that knows what they're doing, that can collaborate with you in that sense but a lot of research a lot of studying um, you know if you need to take sometimes lessons or something that helps you get better in what you're doing you know we never stop learning so I feel like that's that's the main, main important thing and also patience all right well that is all of our time for now we want to thank you again so much for joining us this morning and be sure to tune in again next week because we'll be sharing uh, tips for first-time home buyers things we should all know and tips to keep in mind before hitting the market or even saving money for a mortgage we'll have an inside look at how to stay physically fit this summer by hitting a gym in Harlingen plus how you can nominate someone for the 38th annual governor volunteer awards now don't forget to follow our team on social media for exclusive behind the scenes sneak peeks at what we're filming for the show and of course you can visit valleycentral.com if you'd like to rewatch some of today's segments we've got all of that and so much more next week on valley por vida we'll see you then